Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the radius of a circle given its circumference. And we have this problem here. A circle has circumference 40 centimetres, determine its radius. Now let's remember back to the relevant formula for circle. If we have a circle like this and we've got the radius of the circle, R, remembering that the radius of the circle is the distance between the centre of the circle and the circumference, which is the perimeter, then the formula for the circumference was equal to 2 pi r. And that just means 2 multiplied by pi, which is a special mathematical constant, pi, the Greek letter. It has a value of 3.141, etc. And the digit's gone forever. And remember, you can get the pi in your calculator by just doing shift and then that golden pi symbol there, or might be different depending on what calculator you have and then it's multiplied by the radius. If they're next to each other in algebra, it means you multiply these things together. So that's the formula we need to use. Now, usually we have a radius and we want to get the circumference, but now we're doing it the opposite way round. But we can still just use this formula in the usual way. It's just we have a few extra steps at the end. So let's just shove in what we know. Let's substitute the numbers in. We're told that the circumference is 40 centimetres. So let's just put that in. 40 equals 2 pi r. And it's the radius we don't know this time. So we have to solve this equation. Now notice that we've got this 2 on the front here. So we could divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of that 2. Now 40 divided by 2 is 20. And dividing by 2 here gets rid of that 2, leaving that. And now let's look at what's happening to r. r has been multiplied by pi to get to 20. Now, to get rid of that multiplied by pi, we do the opposite to both sides of the equation. So the opposite of times by pi is dividing by pi. So I'm going to divide the left-hand side by pi, divide the right-hand side by pi, and then you get 20 divided by pi, which we could just write as 20 over pi, because the over just means divide by. And when we divide the right-hand side by pi, that just gets rid of the times by pi. So I'm just left with r. Now, if I want this as a decimal, I can do 20 divided by pi or over pi on my calculator, and that's giving me a value of 6.37, and the unit is going to be centimetres, and that was to three significant figures. So that's the final answer.